It is time to say goodbye to the version of the DC superhero franchise most people are familiar with. With the release of its final film Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, this chapter of the DC Extended Universe, DCEU, closes. For fans of Jason Momoa, who plays Arthur Curry Aquaman, it is time to start worrying. Recently appearing on American entertainment news program Entertainment Tonight, the 44-year-old American actor, when asked if he will reprise his role in the future, said it is not looking too good. He added the only factor that might get him called back is if Lost Kingdom, now showing in Singapore cinemas and the sequel to 2018's box office success Aquaman, turns out to be a hit. What happened? Why is Warner Bros, the movie studio which owns DC Comics as a subsidiary, wiping the slate clean on stories and characters developed in 16 superhero films released across a decade? The DCEU is the name given to such works that include characters like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman and Aquaman. It was an attempt by Warner Bros to create an interconnected web of stories. Studio heads were looking to create a new MCU, or Marvel Cinematic Universe, the franchise that contains the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, and other Marvel characters. The MCU has become the highest grossing franchise of all time, with a global take of West 29.6 billion, 39.3 billion. So, Warner Bros. had much to gain from making the DCEU a success. With the release of the first DCEU film, Man of Steel 2013, with British actor Henry Cavill in the title role and American actress Amy Adams as Lois Lane, Warner Bros. was off to a promising start. The future looked rosy when the Superman origin story made a $668 million globally, a good though not spectacular result. Then the trouble started. In what would become a depressingly familiar story for fans, the phrase troubled production history became associated with too many DC movies, many of which turned out to be box office flops.